In, especially in the shallows, blue mackerel color is ideal. Ah, partona, partona! Try to cast. Whoa! Ah. I have everything I need. Oh. <laughs> Depending where the currents are. Hello! Saturday. Usually on Saturdays and Sundays I don't go fishing. Because uh, fishing is my job, so I prefer to leave weekends for my family, but I had an unexpected guest. Marinos wanted to go for fishing on Saturday. So, ah, let's go. Let's see what happens. Oh, these guys might know to tell us where we can find some barracudas. Hello. Do you know the best place for barracudas, please? Can you tell me? No? You don't say, huh? Ah, you pretend that you don't know, huh? Okay, okay. Hello? Can you tell me where can I find some barracudas? Hello? No? Ah, okay, okay. Ooh, look at the size of this one. <laughs> one more day on the rocks. And it feels exactly the same feeling as home does. Sounds crazy, huh? But guys, here is the absolute freedom. Guys, welcome back to my channel. And today, ha, we are going to have some rock fishing. Like we always do. Few rocks behind me. A very nice coastline that I have to walk and cast <clears throat> and hopefully I will be able to get some barracudas in the middle of the day in shallow waters yay so let's see what we can do and let's try to get some fish shall we join me so today it's uh, the total absence of the moon no moon at all in the sky and uh, the currents are very low, so I expect to find uh, some barracudas in the shallows because when there are uh, strong currents, uh, in, especially in the shallows, the waters get very suppressed and the currents, the tides and the currents are stronger and the barracudas avoid them because they are lazy fish, they don't like the currents. So I have everything I need for uh, uh, maybe a good fishing. I guess we are going to find out. For one more time, I am at the moment that the currents are about to change. And I am on the very low currents, on the drop that they are going to start growing. So I have two hours of very low currents and I have to take a full advantage of them. Run and gun, fishing style, walk and cast, walk and cast, walk and cast. Because uh, when the currents start to get stronger, barracudas will go again in the deeper zone, find uh, some uh, cutting uh, rocks and uh, edges to stay behind and avoid the currents until the next time that the currents will drop. And that is going to happen in uh, ha, six to eight hours after now. So ha, I'm not gonna stay that long. Let's see what we can do, shall we? I know that most of you wouldn't even bother to fish in such shallow waters. But that's an advantage that we can have with a minnow, especially a big minnow. Oh. <laughs> It seems that my barajerk passed above the head of a barracuda. The result is undeniable.
So what I do is I walk 100 meters, stop to a convenient place, and I cast at 10, 12, and 2 o'clock. Yeah, something like this. Now, depending where the currents are moving, usually the chances to get a fish are to the or to the, the total cross cut cast or to the cast to the side that comes a bit against the currents. That's usually how it works. And that's how it also works today. The gear that I'm going to use today is the SGS6 3100 grams uh, short jigging, the MH, with a pen authority 4500 and uh, a, a PE2 braid. Actually, it's the spider wire, the stealth smooth uh, multicolor. The millimeter size is uh, 0 0.15. But in reality, it is a P2 braid and the super hard fluorocarbon leader, the ultimate leader you can use for this fishing style in order to avoid cuts. The 050 size would be great for what we are doing uh, today. Today I will use. Uh, <coughs> sorry, there. Today I'm going to use uh, Barajerk 210. I will uh, use the sinking uh, model because I have uh, the wind against me, so I need some uh, meters of cast more. And uh, hopefully we will be able to get some barracudas. Yay! The blue mackerel color is ideal for these weather conditions. A sunny day with clear waters. With the barajerk, 210, the slow sinking, and the gear that I mentioned, the rod, the reel and the braid, I have a cast of 80 meters, so it's more than enough, even with uh, this uh, light against wind, uh, to reach the distances that I want to reach. Let's continue, guys. Watching the foam very carefully, I can see that very, very slowly is going on the left side. So that means that the currents are already down otherwise i could see them going faster and the, in the next two hours they are going to stop and start, and they will start going on the right way so i have to move and cast so the foam is the main uh, sign of where the currents are moving of course i can get some grass and throw them in and observe or small woods it's another very good uh, option if you don't have foam. This little foam is also very, very good because uh, the sound of the smashing of these small waves on the rocks hides my presence and also the noise of the braid in the water and everything. So it's a plus. A bit stronger would be even better, but this is what I have and this is what I'm going to take advantage of. It's important to keep on moving and cast every here and there. First of all, you don't want to train the fish in the water about what your lure does. And secondary, you need to find different packs of fish. The wind changed from the east to a nice north. Something like this usually motivates the fish. I try to cast on the blue. You see where the green meets the blue? There is the drop, and that's exactly where I have to cast my lure. I have to cast enough meters in the blue to pass it from the green. That's the drop, and probably barracudas are going to stay there, close to the shallows, and lurk for passing prey. Since, as I said, the foam moves to my left, a cast slightly to the right might do the job. Long jerks with poses is the key to get barras, especially at this season and at this depth.
bigger fish are usually more cautious. Sometimes you can see a barracuda, especially a big barracuda, following your lure but refusing to bite. When something like that happens, you should gather all your fishing experience and try to allure it. Here, a big barracuda is right behind my barajerk. Seems that it will follow until the last meter and I will lose it. I have to do something. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Under my feet! Under my feet! Ah! A strike on the last meter. Away from the rocks! <laughs> oh, nice one! Come here, baby! No matter the species of the fish, the problem when you get them very close to the shore is that they are full charged and you need to be careful. Ah. Oh, oh, not on the rocks. Go away from the rocks, yes. Go back in the deep. Go in the deep, baby! Yes. Okay. Now I can take you out. Ah. Huh? Mm. Whoop. Ah. Ah. No, 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 no. Ah. Okay. Ora. They say curiosity killed the cat. In this case, curiosity killed the barracuda. Uh, eventually, it went back, but. <laughs> I guess it took uh, a lesson. It seems that the strategy so far goes excellent. Let's let's continue to see if it makes more sense. There is always the option of a big minnow. Sometimes, especially when the waters are a bit shallow, it's a good choice to get a bara. Another great advantage is that the sun is in front of me. That's tiring, so I'm wearing glasses and polarized glasses, Savage Gear polarized glasses, to be able to see in the water because I want to observe if a barracuda is following me, what it is doing, how it is behaving, so I can adjust the action of my lure to make it strike. But most of all, uh, the ultimate privilege is that the sh my shadow goes back on the rocks and not in the sea. And that allows me to stay very close to the sea. So my shadow won't go inside. Of course, uh, barracudas, uh, they can see your shadow only when they are very close to the rocks. Uh, otherwise, far, you don't have any problem. But it's a, it's a thing that I always take care of. It's inside me, so I prefer, even if it doesn't matter that, mu that much in such fish, I don't want to throw my shadow in the water. I prefer not. Today I have with me Marinos. He joined. Uh, he is tying a new knot because he just <laughs> lost his lure because he's a very capable angler of catching rocks on the bottom. Probably the best angler I, I know. <laughs> the, the champion of catching rocks on the bottom. However, uh, Marinos is trying different uh, fishing style, but uh, ah, uh, Marinos is trying for uh, saddle brims and other uh, fish, but at this moment that barracudas are in the shallows to hunt, I don't believe that Marinos has uh, many chances to get fish. After the two hours that the barracudas will retreat in the deep, he might be able to get some fish.
Let's wish him luck. Good luck, Marinos. Good luck. Ah. <laughs> yeah, it's always fun to be fishing with me, eh? The best guy ever. Barracuda fishing is super, super fun. If you know some parameters and where to get them and how and why, it can be a very easy fishing. Otherwise, if you don't know the basics, like the currents or whatever, you cannot just go like a cowboy and uh, try to get them on a rocky area. It won't work. Unless if you are very lucky and you get in the right hour. And that's what sometimes uh, happens. You go and uh, you fish all day and then you have a half hour of uh, activity and you say, ah, oh, the fish passed. No, <laughs> they didn't. They didn't, absolutely. It was the right time and the right conditions. And the problem is that the next day are not going to be the same hours. They might change. But this is life and this is fishing and <laughs> that's what uh, can distinguish uh, uh, a skilled angler from a cowboy angler. Here is a nice tip. When you twitch, like I do here, your minnow is going deeper. And when you jerk, as I show here, your minnow goes higher. So you can control the depth that you want your lure to be. Guys, if you want to support me further, memberships are active on my channel. You can find the link of uh, memberships up here and you can see the plans so you can uh, be a supporter mm. a high supporter or a max supporter where max supporters have uh, uh, access to exclusive videos exclusive uh, uh, tips fishing locations and uh, many many uh, privileges thank you very much Whoa! Ho ho! Ho ho! Oh! Hooked very bad. Come on! Okay, maybe self released? Or should I help you? Very fast. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, ah, come on. Come on. I want to release you, but you don't let me. Okay. Whee. Slime. Slowly, slowly, the currents are getting stronger and the fish get uh, less and less uh, active. So, I don't think I have uh, too much time left. I will keep trying a bit more, and, uh, but I know. I know that uh, the game is almost over, but you never know. I know that there are still some barracudas around, so I'm gonna change color. That trick usually works. Pay attention to the long, lazy poses I do. Ah, the de.
The sun got a reddish color. Time flies on the rocks. And we are still walking. I guess, guys, that's all for today. Ah, no more strikes. The two hour window was for one more time valid. It paid. And now that even if the sun started to go down, and uh, many would say, ah, oh, now it's the best hour for Barracudas, allow me to have a different opinion about that. And uh, it's not the hour. If the currents were a bit less, may, for sure. But not. Not today, at least. Because uh, on the sundown, the currents are going to be at uh, 75% of their uh, full power. Going for the max 100, probably around uh, uh, 9 uh, to 10 o'clock. So, pff, impossible. Uh, and because for one more time, many may ask uh, how can they calculate the currents. It's something that, as I said in the video, up on the link, if you haven't seen, you should check now about the conditions. Uh, it's something that uh, you can do it only by observing your local area every day and taking notes, depending the moon phase. And uh, only like that you can calculate the exact moment of the high and low tides of your area. And the problem is that every day comes in different hours, so you have to uh, follow because uh, you might be able to see a, a schedule, an onla online schedule with uh, high tides and low tides in your area but uh, it's very general if you are in a gulf or if you are in a in, in different areas I mean the water doesn't change uh, the same minute in the whole country absolutely not absolutely, it might have a delay of uh, hours from one point to the other so following a schedule doesn't work usually so guys take notes you want to become better anglers ha. pen and paper or an excel sheet even better every day a good day or a bad day put notes and after one year as i have said many times of notes, you will be able to have a roadmap to success or failure. And you will know more or less when to go or when not to go fishing. Not going fishing, of course, shouldn't be on the table because guys, uh, if you have the opportunity, go. Go, because many times it pays. So, thank you for being with me. See you soon. I have to walk whew, quite a, lo a long distance on the rocks. And uh, <laughs> see you soon. Okay. Be well and be safe, guys. Thank you very much. Like a walk on the park, eh? Not.